Thank you. There's so much in his word that we need to know. Amen. If we don't study his word, we're not going to know. Truth. We don't know what words mean because what they mean to us may not be what God means. That's right. His meanings are not our ways. Amen. His eyes are higher than our ways. That's right. His depths are deeper than we can ever imagine to go to. Amen. I didn't come to prayer, but Jesus came to prayer. That's right. He's always in the office. And if we'll listen to his voice when he speaks, Brother Cannon, oh, we can speak the words. If you listen to his voice, you'll speak his word. Amen. Amen. You read. Get in his word, sister. All I'm going to read it just a little bit. It may not make no Lord sense, Jesus. but it did to me when the Lord gave it to me. So I'm just going to read what he gives me because right. he's the teacher, Roger. He is our teacher. Amen. He is a, the he is our help and the right. time of need. It don't matter where you are right. or where you go to, sister. He is your help. Amen. Jesus is your answer. That's my right. other saying. I tell the children, Lord. Jesus is your answer. If you had troubles tonight, Jesus is your answer. If you're on drugs tonight, Jesus is your answer. If you get sick, Jesus is your answer. If you're going down not knowing where your next meal is, Jesus is your answer. It don't matter. It all comes back to the living word of God. It's Jesus Christ. Which is God. He's the begotten Son of God. He is God. That's all that matters in this life. We better be a servant of the living God. And his name is Jesus. There's many gods. The Bible talks about many gods, Brother Roger. Many gods are in there. But there's only one true God.
are you sick tonight? There's Jesus Christ. Oh. He is the Father. He's the Son. He's the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And right. I don't care what nobody else says. They can come at me. They can call me a liar. They can stand me in the back. Whatever they got to do. But I, because I've got a protector. His name's Jesus. And they ain't going to know what touch this. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Because I want to know what he's saying, That's Sister right. Eric. I want to know what he's saying That's to right. me. And I'm going to go in 28. I'm going to start at verse 8. I wasn't going to start there. Lord led me there. And I don't know. I don't know how far I'm going to read. It says, For all the tables are full of vomit and filthness, so that there is no place clean. Amen. No place clean. What's in our churches today? That's right. They're vomiting. Yeah, that's right. They're letting the world come in and that's vomit. Yeah, that's and it's filling the church, it's filling the pews, it's filling the, the, the pulpit, uh -huh. it's filling from the front to the back. Come on in here and give me your money. Come on. Hey, you won't give me your money and buy me an airplane? Let's go. Come, come on. That's what they say to them. But they don't tell them that. They'll say, give me a thousand dollars. Oh, if you sell this, give me a thousand dollars and it is all a seed. Well, let me tell you out there. Let me tell you what the seed is. The seed is the word of God. They better get in that word and seek it out. Because a thousand dollars, if I give you a thousand dollars, it's bye bye a thousand dollars because I ain't going to see you no more. That's what a lot of them do. Now listen to this, verse 9. It says, Who shall he teach? No, who shall he teach knowledge? Who shall he teach knowledge? Where was it? That's it. You gotta ask for it, you gotta seek for it, you gotta read it, you gotta seek it, you gotta know it. Okay? It says, Whom shall he make you understand the doctrine? Okay? When people get up here, there's a lot of doctrines going out. You better be ready for the true doctrine. And if you want to know the true doctrine, get in the word because that's the true doctrine. It don't matter how they sugarcoat it, they can lie to you, but the truth is staying when the world's on fire. And this right here is the truth. And then it says, now here's what I like. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. You want to get deep in that word, get away from that milk. I say, Lord, I've done and had enough milk today. I've had milk for 27 years. It's time I get some meat up on this table. I'm a, I'm a, a now nourished. I'm getting skinny here. I'm getting like, a, like somebody that's not had no meat in a long time. I want some spiritual teeth to eat this meat with. Come on, man. We better be asking. He said, ask and he shall receive. If you really want to know, ask and seek and it shall be found and all that stuff. I mean, it's all. I'm getting hung up. Lord, help me, Jesus. That's all right. This is for the precept. Now, this is a very, all of it's very important. But people don't listen. Listen to what the Word says. For a precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Upon line. Here a little and there a little. Amen. If it's not lining up with yes. this word, if, and how are you going to know? Get in the word. That's right. If you don't get uh -huh. in the word, you're not going to know if it's line upon line, precept upon well, precept. Right. You better get it right. Because yeah. if you get one little thing and you say one little thing, it can knock you out. Right. I, it's the truth. Heaven or hell, Jesus Amen. or hell. That's all the way it goes. Right. Right. Amen. People don't believe that. They want to say, no, no. I've heard so many different ways to get in. Oh, for reference, said there's so many ways to get in. Let me tell you, she and all them that's following her is all going to go to hell with that. They don't get in the Word of God and seek Him for their son. He said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. If you don't fear Him and you don't tremble at His presence, Oh, something's wrong with you, church. Yeah. Something's wrong with you. That's you better right. get your big girl pants on, big boy pants on, and say, okay, Lord, I got to know. Tell That's me, right. teach me. That's, right. That's where it's at. It's in the Word. Yeah. It's all in the yeah. Word. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you go through, Brother Roger. It don't matter what you're seeking for. It's in the 
Word. If you're yeah. seeking for food on your table, get in the Word. Jesus is saying food on your table, honey. All you got to do is ask and believe and know that He is God and He can do anything. He made Himself a body. He made Himself a body. How great is that? He made Himself a body. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, man, it's awesome. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm going a little bit. For with stumbling lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest, wherewith he may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they will not hear. That's right. Yeah. That's the problem with the That's people right. today. Yeah. We have ears and hear not. Right. We have eyes and see not. Right. We have lips and speak not. Right. We have a heart and won't accept. Yes. Amen. That's what's wrong with us today. We don't want to hear what he has to say. Right. You know, people can get up here and preach till they're blue in the face. And if you're not accepting it, that's on you. That's true. Right. Yeah, that's right. Like Sister right. Erica said, if you tell them to get in the Word. If you get in the Word, like she said, I agree with her. If you get in the Word, that's up to you. Uh -huh. If you don't get it, it's not going to affect me at all. Because right. I've been, I done warned you. That's I done right. told you what God told me to tell you. I'm doing what God said. And if you don't do what God said, that's on you, not me. So uh, I, I, I just right. pray for you. It says, but the word of the Lord. Lord. But the word of the Lord. Amen. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Yeah. Okay. Was unto them precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little, that they may that they might go, I'm sorry, and fall backward and be broken and ensnared and taken. Yep. See if we don't get that precept <laughs> upon precept, line upon line, we can go backwards and we'll be taken. That's right. That's now right. I'm gonna flip over. That's good. Because I'm gonna go to Matthew chapter eighteen next. Bless her Lord. I'm going to tell you how to get out of it. That's right. Come on. I'm going to tell you how to get out of your sins. You know, if there's not been a change in you, you need to get back where you need to be with Jesus. Get down and say, Lord, That's right. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. I'm still lost, Lord. That's right. I'm still lost. I'm not delivered of the drug that I was once on. I'm not That's delivered right. of the homosexuals spirit that I have. I'm not delivered. But you know, don't stop. Don't stop. If you don't get delivered, don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep asking. Keep going to him. Keep That's seeking right. him. You know, there's something. One day, he's going to come to you the right way to repent. And when you repent, he said to turn from your iniquities. When you return from that sin, you don't want to go back to that sin. I had no desire to go back to where I come from. None. Whatsoever. Right. Don't right. love me. Don't need it. I got something better. I got a better drug than I've ever been yeah. on since America. It don't cost me no money. All it costs is me is just a little handshake up there and I, in the air. Lord Jesus, I'm yes. here. I need you to fill me, fill me, Lord, with your spirit. Lord. That's the best high I've ever had. I don't I don't have to worry about not paying my bills because my high will not take my money. My high will not do nothing for me. Uh -huh. It just gives me more and more and more. Yes. I can go higher and higher and higher in Jesus right. and I know that it ain't going to cost me nothing because he paid that debt on the day of Calvary on the cross with his back to it. When he took his stripes, he done it for me. He done it for you. He done it for every man, woman, boy, and girl that had accepted him. And it's time for us to stand up. It's time for that voice to come out. It's time to stand up and say the power is within me. Because Jesus Christ lives in me. I can speak it. You know, Brother Roger, you talking about your jaw or hurting or whatever was hurt. I didn't mean it the way you took it. But let me tell you, brother, you got Jesus in your heart. You got Jesus in your soul. You got the power to make it go. I'm telling you right now, he can speak it. And it has to go. The Bible says so. That's what Jesus uh -huh. said. Jesus said that it cannot stand where he's at. True. Amen. I tell you what, we better get it up. We better get it going. We better get it going on right. That's right. When you get up, put him on. When you go back, put him on. When you back, put him on. Put your mind on him. Yeah. I pray that, Brother Roger. Look, he said, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. I said, Lord Jesus, let this mind
Jesus. I'm going to read 11. 18 well, 11. Cool. It says, For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Amen. So if you're not getting your line upon line and your precept, well, let's change it. Your precept upon precept and line upon line. Jesus came to save those that were lost. That's right. If you're not understanding it, he died. If you don't understand it, I'll just plainly tell you Jesus died on the cross so that you can have life and have it more abundantly. And you can have eternal life, not made with hands. It ain't going to be some building that people think. It ain't going to be all these big fancy mansions when you're driving down Lexington and then you see a big mansion way over yonder. That's not what he's talking about. The mansion is right here. It's right here. It's right here. We are his mansions. That's why he said there's many mansions. Because if it was not so, he would have told us. It would have been just one or it would have been this way or that way. He said he would have told us. We are his mansions. We better know that. Quit playing around. Yeah. <laughs> it says, How think ye if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray? Doeth he not leave the ninety and the nine and goeth into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray? Do you think he don't search for you? Yes, he does. Amen. Yes, he does, because he loves you. He loves our soul more than anything because he come from him. Yes, that's he right. come from him. Yeah, right. Why wouldn't he love his self? Mm -hmm. You know, why wouldn't he love his... You love yourself in the flesh. I mean, be honest about it. Oh, I'm getting a blotch here. Well, uh, you know, what am I going to do about this blotch? <laughs> I got this sore right here. What am I going to do about this sore? I, I, we love ourselves. Get right with it. God knows your heart. That's right. I believe it ain't Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I love my flesh. And then until I got saved and I found something That's better right. to love. That's right, amen. When I found Jesus, well, Jesus found me. He wasn't never lost. Jackie That's was right. lost. Amen. You know, he left that 99 yes, and amen. came and got Jackie down amen. in that hole she was in. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And you know what? He's the only one to come down in that hole. He's the only one that can come into that cave. He's the only one to come in your house. He's the only one that can go in your car. People can go with you. They can be with you, Kenan. Your wife can stand right beside you all the way. But when he comes to the day that you lay this whole flesh down, he can, she can go. You're going alone. If you, got, if you ain't got Jesus, you're going alone. But you're going to face him. You're going to face him for every good and evil give error, deed that you've done in this body. Amen. That's what the Word says. Amen. Amen. And, you know, people think, well, if, if I got saved, okay, then I can go in here and tell this little joke. And I, if I die, I'll be all right. We? Mm -hmm. True. I mean, seriously, think about it. Will you? Yeah. You better be asking Jesus. Jesus, if I go over here and say this, well, I, if I die, will I see you? Yes, you're going to see him, but will I live eternity with you? Right. Or am I going to hell? That, that's it right there. Am I going to live with you, Lord? Am I going to be? He said, no, see, now you're in. None. That's right. No, none. That's right. People think, well, I can go over here and tell this lie. If I die, then I'll be all right. No, no, you won't. The Bible says no sin will enter in. None. Amen. That's no sin big, no sin little. Sin is sin. People quit preaching sin in the pulpits. Yeah. That's the sad thing, a very sad thing, because people has backed off on sin, mm -hmm. and they've let the world come in, yes. and they let them do whatever. they yeah. got a church over in Lisa, and it has the flashing lights. Jesus is not in the flashing light. When the Bible says he come as a man, when he come as a man, he didn't come as a raging king. He didn't come yes. to where everybody would say, oh, that's the king. That's the king of the tribe of Judah. That's the king of all from David. You know, he didn't come that way, Sister Wolves. He come in, I forget how it says it, but he didn't come to be a beautiful man. He didn't come like that. Amen. He come as a lamb. He come low. Yes, amen. Sometimes, what if Jesus come back like that and sit right here? What if a man come in here and worse clothes than we ever seen and smelling and 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 and, I, and I'm not saying that he can't, but he can. What if he walk through that door and sit down? Because he smelled. Would you go after him? Would you shake his hand? Would you welcome him in? 
See, it's not about this. No. It's not about this. It's no. what's inside. Amen. And he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows as if you're walking in here. He knows when you walk through the door if you're coming because you're hungry. He knows if you come through the door to talk about your brother and sister. He knows if you come in here just to be sitting here because, uh, well, I ain't got much money and this is as far as I can go. Amen. He knows. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. And everybody in here already knows this one thing, but I'm going to talk to them that's out there. Please, if God is knocking on your heart, please don't turn him away. Amen. Because I'm here to tell you this is the best thing i ever done in my life. And if I know that when I was younger, what a life maybe I would have lived. Amen. And I know somebody is talking to somebody Saying that woman's a liar, and it's okay. To them, I may be a liar. But if you don't believe me, get the Word of God, a true Word of God, and you read it, and you seek it. I promise you, Jesus will be on the scene. He did for me, and He said in His Word, He has no respect for person. No respect for person. If He can take me off drugs and alcohol and the slump that I was in, the whoremonging, all the stuff that I've done, He can you. And He can love you. He'll nourish you. He'll never leave you. And He'll never forsake you. Amen. Never. My family can turn her back on me, but Jesus will never turn His back on me. That's right, Jesus. Amen. In the midnight hour, when I can't call my brothers and my sisters to pray for me, I can sit down and say, Lord, come and visit with me. And he's Amen. there. Amen. He's there. Amen. If I'm in pain, I don't have to have no man's hands laid on me. I can lift my hands up because Amen. the power is in me. Amen. I can lay my Amen. hands on my body and I can lift him up and say, Lord Jesus, yeah. your word says you come to heal. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He'll never leave you. I don't care if you're in a whorehouse down the road. I don't care if you're down here in a drug house or a meth house or if you're shooting up. If you want to know it, lay it down and say, Lord, I need to know you. Who is she talking about? <coughs> and he'll come on the scene. Yes. Yes. I guarantee it. Everything in me believes that. Amen. He's real. We need to magnify him. That's right. We need to make him a big God yes. because he yes. is a big That's God. Right. Just think how big he is at this earth that we're standing on here today is his footstool. Yeah. Amen. How big of a feet does he have? Come on. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Well, if he's got big feet, he's got big hands. And he's got a big head. Yes. It says, and if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiced more of that one sheep. No, more of that sheep than of the ninety and the nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. See, he don't want none of us to perish. It's said it right there. The Father is the Spirit, the Spirit is Jesus. It's all together. Amen. I'm so thankful that he died. Amen. But you know, I'm thankful that he saved souls. Amen. You know, if he'd stayed in, in Israel and he stayed married to Israel and if he he and he decided I don't want them as a people. He could have already said, I don't want them as a people. But he said he'll make a people that wasn't a people. And we're that people. Amen. People need to understand that. There's so much in here. Mm. I just got just a piece of the top of the cake, I see. Uh, I want the cake. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want some cake? Come on, let's dig it. Dig in there. You don't know something? I'm, I'm going to tell you, God said that we can testify or whatever. And That's right. this, this is something I, I want to share. My body was cold. I had 
pants on and socks on and shirts on and I was under the cover and I was literally freezing and I couldn't get warm. And I thought, what am I going to do? You know, I don't get out of bed, I'm going to be colder all that way because it was cold. It's been a couple of years back, I can't remember when. <coughs> so I began to pray and I said, Lord, just come down here and crawl in bed with me and let me get warm. That's all I asked. No big thing. Well, I'm telling you, sister. <laughs> I want this feeling to come over me. Oh. And I could feel it just crawl right, just like somebody just crawled right out of bed with me. And I know that was my Jesus. People say, you're crazy. Yes, I am crazy for my Jesus. <laughs> because if I'm going to be crazy over anything, it's Jesus that I'm going to be crazy Amen. Over. Because, Amen. Brother Kenan, there's nothing that he cannot do. There's no no place that I can go. He said, if I made my bed in hell, he'd be there. He'd be there. He'd be there. You think about that. What a God that we have, that we sit down and we come to serve and we come to lift him up. If we're not lifting him up and if we're not telling how big our God is, we're failing as a church. We're failing as that body. We're failing. Amen. But when we start magnifying him and the souls start coming in and we were getting ready to reap that harvest, you know, in one place in the Bible, he talks about the harvest is plenteous. Pray ye therefore that he'll send laborers into the harvest. We better be ready to labor in the harvest. We better be ready to go and reap them in. We better go out there with love and boldness and tell them if you don't change your ways, the word of God is it, it's, it's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, he will not change. Sin, what is sin today was sin yesterday. What was sin yesterday was 10,000 years ago with a... That's right. It don't change. Sin is sin no matter what you say. Amen. And people will get away from sin because they think, well, I've got a brother that's gay or I've got a sister that's a lesbian. Okay, we're not going to preach this no more in our church because, you know, I'm coming again my family member. You know, I love them. Yes, I love them with all my mind. Tell my kids and I told my grandkids and I'm just going to be bold. If I can be bold, I'm going to be bold. And Jesus said to tell them if it's wrong, it's wrong. Yeah. There ain't no way around it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I told my kids it's wrong. The Bible says so. The Word says. And it means it's wrong. Lying is wrong. Lying is wrong. Stealing is wrong. Stealing is wrong. Killing is wrong. See, they get off one little subject, Sister Lois, and they want to leave it there. They just want to preach on the homosexuals. Well, let me tell you, there's more sin than a homosexual. There's more sin than that than them. just lying. The Bible is full of sin. Pride is sin. When you come in here and you think you're God Almighty or you think that you're the king of the castle or whatever, that's pride. That's sin. The Bible says it's sin. When I covet what my sister's got, if I covet what my sister has. If I cover what my brother has, that's sin. The Bible says it's sin and sin is still sin. It is not change. But let me tell you, there's a way out of sin. And his name is Jesus. He died on the cross for everyone. And I can't get off of that. I'm just telling you, that's just the way it is. He died for every one of us, Brother Roger. And he told us that we can have him if we wanted him. But we got to have a change in us, Brother. And Jesus don't come in and wash you and clean you up. He never come in in the first place. Because he said he can't live in an unfair Right. An temple. You know, that's why he said you can't put new wine in new bottles. Because the bottles are bust. You know, you can't put new wine in new bottles. Yeah. I went backwards a little bit. It was that's a bottles. Right. I'm sorry, Lord. I don't want to disrespect my Jesus in no way, no how. I don't want to. I don't want to make a mockery of my God. I don't want to make a mockery of Him. His word said it won't go out void, so it's going to somebody. I don't yes. care who it's going to. Right. But I'm just telling you, take heed. Oh, the Bible says to take heed what we hear. He said, take heed right. what we eat. Take heed on what you do. Take heed unto it. Because when you're doing it, you're supposed to do it unto Jesus. Yeah. He said, do all things unto Him. Hardly to Him. And yeah. Him only. Right. Then, you know, I, I can't understand it. When I was little, I thought there was going to be a God here. And I thought the Father was going to be here. And I thought Jesus was going to be here. And the Holy Ghost was going to be here. And I'm just being honest. God knows my heart. But you know what? He said, take heed how we take things. Take yeah. heed. Yeah. Amen. I believe that because that's what I was taught. Right. Amen. True. I was taught that. Amen. But God knows I've done it ignorantly. Yeah. Amen. Now I know better. 
Right. And if I go back home that now, Brother Roger, I'm hell bound and I don't care who knows it and who thinks it's different. Yeah. If I go back on that, yeah. I can go to hell. I will go to hell as I'm just standing here. I believe that with all my heart. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Once you know it, you better take it. That's right. That's right. And you better stand on it. That's right. And you better not back off of it. That's right. That's right. Because he said those that take fit, and, and I thought about it. You you watch them that used to own them old old westerns, and then and, and little house on the prairie. I keep warning they're out there in that dust, and they got that plow, and they're going through with yeah. that uh -huh. thing. If you'll notice, they don't look behind them. Uh -huh. No, they keep on looking to direct that that uh -huh. mule to go the way they uh -huh. want it to go. Uh -huh. If they're looking behind uh -huh. them, they're going. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> So if we're looking back, we're not fit for the kingdom, the Word says. Right. We better be a looking forward, and we better right. take a hold and hold on with all your might. And, and dig and dig, because, I mean, I, I think about them plows that digging in that earth. You know, if we start digging, we'll start digging in that Word. And the deeper you dig, the better it gets. The deeper you get, the deeper the soul gets down in there, the closer to Jesus you're going to get. I'm going to tell you, they ain't nothing no better than Jesus. We better get him, and we better get him fast. Because time is winding down. Yeah. People don't think so, Brother Roger, but the Bible says that He's coming. Yeah. He's a coming. Amen. He already come. Yes. Yeah. Because He saved this old gal. Yeah. Amen. And there's a day He's going to take me home with Him. Amen. I'm going right back where I come from. Right. Hallelujah, sister. Amen. Thank you. Crying over this old flesh. Yeah. I don't want nobody crying over my little sores. Let me go 